Hi, this is Warren Sloan with Sloan Realty, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today is the reports that you're going to be receiving to help you with your taxes um, because it's that time of year again. So very soon you're going to be receiving some information about your 1099, and that you're also going to receive a couple reports to help you sort out filling out a Schedule E, which is the form that you use to report rental income and expenses. So there are a couple different reports that we're going to send you. One is going to be an in-year summary, and the other is going to be a sample Schedule E. Um, so that's what that report is going to be called. That is not a report that you turn into the IRS. That is simply a report that helps you fill out the form that you have to turn into the IRS. So this is our owner statement end of the year. You'll see the dates here. And what you'll see here is income of $10,875. That is what it's going to be on your 1099. Um, regardless of how much money that you received, your draws, this is the amount that we have to report to the IRS. So in that, there is a $1,438.79 worth of expenses, $888.50 worth of management fees, and a total income or net income of $8,500. 8547.71. And that you'll see that we actually drawed out, we sent to Mr. Rossi all 8547.71 throughout the course of the year. There is zero money left in her account. Now, Mr. Rossi, this is a duplex, and so you will see some expenses that are at the duplex level and not at the individual level. So you need to include these expenses when you do your 1099, or excuse me, when you do your Schedule E. So her expenses were for insurance. She's a part of our homeowner's insurance program, which is a fantastic program that's saving her about 30% on her insurance bill. Please contact us to find out more. But she's paying that at the portfolio level or at the building level and not the individual unit level. So she needs to remember this to include this in our Schedule E. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the total amount of money that we sent to her. That is her net income. IRS only cares about gross income which is the income you receive prior to any expenses. You'll see for this individual property, if she were to fill out a Schedule E for this particular property, um, which you can do both, I believe, talk to your accountant to figure that out. Um, she had a total gross income of 5550, and then she had expenses. And these expenses will line up with items that are on your Schedule E and different things that you can report there. Um, so she had an appliance replacement, some journal maintenance, air conditioner repairs, her management fees, her pest control and utility expenses for a total expenses of $12.99.09. The net operating income is $42.50.91. The next property is 7620 Valley View. You'll see again her net income, or excuse me, her gross income. You will see her expenses and then you will see her net operating income. You also see down here at the bottom that there are no unpaid bills. Uh, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see how much security deposit uh, we actually maintain in the accounts for these properties that belongs to the tenants. The other report that we'll send you is what we call our Schedule E report. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. This is a broken down report that will help you when you come when it comes to filling out your Schedule E. It is not your Schedule E, it is a sample um, or a form that will help you fill it out. But you'll see the first column here will be the building, the entire property, and she has that expense that we saw before. And then you'll see the income for each of the individual units and all the expenses for the individual units and then the net income at the bottom. These are the two reports that we're going to send you, including uh, included with your 1099 uh, to help make your taxes more simple. If your accountant needs to see more detailed reports or you would like to see more detailed reports, shoot us an email at clients at sloanteamrealty.com. Uh, if your accountant needs to see something, please ask them either to tell you exactly what they'd like to see or contact us directly. Uh, if they contact us directly, make sure that you let us know that we have permission to talk to them. Otherwise, we won't. Um, because we're going to respect your privacy until you tell us to tell somebody else your details. So these are the reports you're going to receive. You're going to receive these in January. Um, we should have them out to you very shortly.